How's everybody doing? Here it is. Okay. Come on. Go. Good evening, friends. We have Small Waiting Bear. And we have Ella. Hello. We have Hi, welcome to Chili's. And we've got um, Prelu. Looks like he's doing cheetah today i am and i there's there's like three different uh national flowers three different national animals there's so many so i'm like you know what i love cheetahs i'm doing a cheetah yep artist's choice so tonight. sorry iran you're getting a cheetah Are here. Hello, friends. Maggie says hello from Canada. Hello. Bridget says hello with a lot of O's. And we've got a Ben Smith here, and a Hope is here, and Cole says hi. How's it going? It's going good. How are you? Hi, hi, hi. Hello, hi. Hello, hi. How is hi, everybody? Hey. hey. Oh my God, I'm here. Yay, I got a Saturday stream. Yay. Dana Mercury retracted a message. Oh, dear. The scandals are already beginning. Mm -hmm. Scandal this evening. Scandal. Well, it has been a really long day in the Saba house. But we are all happy and with you tonight. It has been hot today. This is Diva says, love coming to you from Iran. Oh, yay. Um, hey, for, hey, from the super wild land of Utah. It's, love Utah. All the rocks. Yeah. And it's beautiful there. That's where I got this bracelet. Mm -hmm. um, Banana CIA says hello. Hello. I'm glad it's a later stream. I wake up late every Saturday evening. Dakota Ray says, good evening, Scott and Donna. How are you both doing? We're doing good, thank you. We are very happy to slow down and take a Saturday night with you guys. <laughs> it's been a very busy day. And Marguerite Mitchell from British Columbia. Hello, Marguerite Mitchell from British Columbia. Is it a puma? It is a cheetah. It is a cheetah. Please name him Chester. Says <laughs> Hi, I'm a big fan. That's ham blocks. I think we should name him Arumya. Oh my God, that's funny. Um, let's see. That was my grandfather's name. He was born in Iran. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see. Whoops. Oh, let's see, I was just watching Rick Steves in Iran episode. Really? <laughs> Hello from Indonesia. Hello from the Philippines. Hello. Hello from the Hollywood. How is everybody today? Yeah, Hope everybody's just, having a good day. Isn't the national animal from Iran a lion? There, it was, uh, I couldn't get, I think there was more websites that said it was a lion. There was a couple that said it was the Asiatic cheetah. There was a couple that said it was other things. And the same thing for the flower. There was tulips, there was water lilies, there was roses. And I was like, my family's from Iran. And my favorite animal is a cheetah, so That's I'm just going to mash them together. That's so, I mean, the Iran's soccer team, their mascot is a cheetah, too. So, Yil says hello from Iran, interestingly enough. So, that's now two people from Iran. Yay! Wow. Um, <laughs> what's next, honey? They want to know what's next already. Oh, gosh. I haven't thought that far ahead. Seriously, he hasn't, guys. Maybe you guys can suggest something? No, they've suggested <laughs> everything in here. Stop. Do not suggest anything <laughs> until after the live is over. I am not reading one more con country. No. <laughs> I can't. Questions, yes. Comments, yes. Hellos, yes. Animals for next time, no. That's what the live is Scott thinks he's funny. I'm going to make him read the comments. Okay. Let's see. That is a cool bracelet. 
Thank Guys, you. it is not his birthday. It is Crayola's yeah. 64th birthday. It's Crayola's 64th birthday, not, not mine. 64th birthday. Yes, I, I, I've still got 11 more years until that happens. He does indeed. Uh, we just got on the stream, so maybe nine minutes, eight minutes we've been on. Um, uh, five minutes and 23 seconds. There you go. Um, love your videos. They're very inspiring. Thank you. Did you all see uh, Dina the Manatee? Yes. Um, hello to the greatest of all time and uh, greatest artist of all time and I meet all time. That was Lou. Oh, that's very kind of you. Yeah. You need to see some more artists, though. I will show you. Excited to see the finished product. Uh, I love um, It's morning wherever just Candace is because they're saying goodnight. Hello. Um, all right, melting in the UK as well. I know, then they say global warming doesn't exist, but hey, who am I? Um, All right. I'd love to see the National Animal of Canada, the beaver, uh, a few pages ago. Here, I will show beaver. you in case you guys missed it. Mm -hmm. So day one mm -hmm. was Scotland. Day two, India. Day three was Canada, and his name is Justin, Justin Beaver. <laughs> there are videos and there's a whole playlist for these. Day four's Mexico. Day five was Cape Verde, Africa. Mm -hmm. And today is day six. I was just gonna ask about the bracelets. He has not done a kangaroo yet. Hello from Bulgaria, love from the Philippines. But isn't from that boopable? That's so boopable. So far, the cheetah looks awesome. Uh, oh, thank yes, you. Yes, I'm from Canada. Oh, the hello. The hole is cool, even though it's hot outside. It is very nice down here. Um, greetings from Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. I've been getting a lot of requests for Puerto Rico's tiny little frog that apparently is very loud. Crowd Irene in here, thanks for the acknowledgement of our country. Of course, my family's from there too. Um, would you do the Philippines National Animal? Uh, There's a lot of animals in the world to do. There are only 30 pages, but I will do yeah. what I can. Mm -hmm. So, also, um, okay, that little car is Esmeralda. Um, she's the little version of the big car in the garage. If you'd like to see a video, on the big one, there is a video on it. Yep. Uh, Mexico. I don't Hello. understand how you draw so good. You are what I strive to be. Oh, thank you. It is just a lot of years of copying photos. That's all I'm doing is I'm looking at photos. So I'm not doing this Hello out of my head. To everyone in the States, the good old US of A, which is where we are. I love the tiny car. Hello from Serbia. Hi from Norway. Hello, hello, hello. From Australia and New Zealand. That's so pretty. My friend has a red panda squishmallow. <gasps> they make a red panda squishmallow? How did I not know this? Oh dear. OMG. Who is your favorite artist? Except the best, of course, you. <laughs> um, I have many favorite artists, um, so it's really hard for me to just pick one, but you know what? I normally do this by hand. I don't know why I did that. What? I normally do these by hand without using the thing. I was wondering why it felt weird. I normally just do this by hand like that. Um, I just was kind of in a zone talking to everybody. My favorite artists are uh, Drew Struzan, um, JC Leyendecker, uh, John Buscema, um, Maxwell Parrish, Barry Windsor Smith. I mean, there's so many. I think it's good to have a lot of influences and a lot of people that you look up to. Uh, let's see. Lots of people are saying hi. Hi. He does I'm... not speak Persian. He did not learn it. No. Um, my, my family, uh... My, on my mom's side was Assyrian, so they spoke Assyrian. Mm -hmm. And my mom still does, and some of my cousins do, but not me. Mm -mm. 
Um, hello from Texas. Love your videos. They are so helpful. Oh, thank you. How many days will you be doing this? Uh, let's see. What's today? Today is the sixth day. Um, so there's going to be 24 more days, mm -hmm. 30 days total. Um, let's see. I love beavers. Somebody loves the chunky manatee. Hello from Scotland. Man, I missed a few days. I need to catch up. Um, another love your videos. I'm a huge fan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very boopable. Isn't it? Um, it's looking great. I've been watching your past streams and now I get to watch one live. Um, where did you learn to draw animals? Um, I actually did take a, a animal, was it a wildlife mm -hmm. illustration. illustration course in college, um, which was really, really fun. Uh, but um, honestly, like I've I've drawn cheetahs a lot of times. Never drawn a manatee. Drawn eagles lots of times. Never drawn a beaver. I've drawn lots of tigers. And, and I have drawn quite a few unicorns. So I, a lot of these are gonna be ones that I've done for the, I'm doing for the very first time. Let me move you guys over just a little bit so you guys can see everything. Okay, so, um, let's see. Um, I wanna pet the beaver. Oh my gosh, please do the frog. Is it wrong that I booped the manatee on my phone? That was really <laughs> funny. That's very funny. Um, what motivates you? Um, the beauty in the world. Uh, it's just so much of it. And there's so much good in the world. And I think as artists, we need to see that and shine a light on it for everybody. There's enough crap in the world, you know? So I think, and not every artist is built for that. Some artists want to show the worst of the world or the horrors and stuff. And I think that's their thing. But I think at least for me, I just want to kind of find the beauty in everything. Hello from Australia, you inspire me. Hello, thank you. Um, let's see, why did you do YouTube? Oh, um, it was Dan Povenmire who convinced me to do it. And I'm really glad he did because um, I was just doing uh, the TikTok or as Santa would say, the tiki talkies. But I'm glad I'm glad we did. I mean, we've met so many really nice people here. <clears throat> I've just started drawing realistic animals myself. Oh, nice. That looks awesome. Thank you. Well, I think we've stated enough that your favorite animal is the cheetah. Um, let's see. Um, hey from Denmark. Oh my God, yes, Dan Povenmire is in San Diego right now. Yeah. Yep. Comic Con. Let's see. Hello from Italy. I love your comic and watercolor mix. Who edits your videos? Me. Yep. And apologies for the lip syncs being off. I don't know how to fix it because it looks fine when I'm looking at it. Mm -hmm. um, what is it like growing a fan base so fast? Um, it's, it's really cool, honestly, because everybody's been really, really nice and it's not toxic and you guys are so supportive. It is very strange though, watching the numbers that we had on, um, TikTok go so slowly, but then to see them go so quickly on YouTube, it's really weird. Yeah. Um, let's see. I have a question for you. What should I name my D and D character? She is a moth folk warlock whose job is a sage. I need help with a name. Ooh, um... Grimelda? Um... That's the first word, the first name that came to my head. How on earth do you draw her? I'm baffled. I'm trying to figure it out. Um, have you ever designed a tattoo? I think so. I think someone hired me once to do that. I think it was like a flower and a moth or a butterfly and I don't know, something like that. Scott speaks English. That is the only language I speaks. barely speak English well, too. He, he, well, I was being nice. Um, I've been waiting for this. All my support from Iran. Oh, thank you. What's your best cure for anxiety? Oh, um... Headphones. Yeah. 
Scotch noise canceling headphones. headphones. Yeah. Yep. Um, this is an Asiatic cheetah. Yes. Have you drawn your dog? Oh my God, so many times has he drawn Arwen. So many times has he drawn Arwen. Where do you find your references for your drawings? Uh, just Google. Let's see. Well, someone sent us a tip. I haven't gotten that far yet. Petition for a red panda emoji. I, there's no, I don't see a tip anyway. Mm -mm. Um, mm -mm. Here it, it is. Banny Z Watcher. Hey, Scott, you're my favorite artist, so here's some cash. Thank you, Banny Z Watcher. That is That's not very pop, nice of you. That did not pop up on here for me. Oh boy, there are so many of you. Scott was never an art teacher. What's yeah. the type of art that you do not like? Um, there's a lot of art that I'm not really fond of, uh, like abstract art or, you know, things like that. A lot of horror stuff, I'm not really a fan of. Um, Scott started drawing when he was about six or seven. They would like to see the reference picture. He, his favorite type of art is what he's been doing and painting here for you guys. He does pencils and then uses the zebra brush pen and then watercolors. What is your favorite part of this drawing, of drawing this? Um, I always love the, the, the black line that runs down from their eyes to the size of their mouth. I always thought that was cool. Just like um, a cool feature. The best place, Bridget, to show us your art is on our Discord channel. Any of your art was in a museum, what would it be? Oh gosh. I would think maybe some of my Art Nouveau stuff or maybe my travel journal. Oh God, I don't even know what your first commission was. Um, my first, I don't know what my first commission was, my first paying job was uh, I did the cover for Replay Magazine when I worked at Atari. These particular pieces of art, he spends about 90 minutes on. The longest piece of art he's ever done was the Animal Crackers movie poster, and that was about 15 weeks. He is using a zebra brush pen right now. Um, what is the easiest thing for you to draw? Easiest thing for me to draw? Mm -hmm. um, I'd say maybe eyes. Scott's got a video on art block in the art hacks playlist you can check there you got several people in here who are um who have said that they were um autistic and oh. they um they are using art to cope which is really cool that's great that's yeah that's what i did if you ever regretted selling a piece of your art whether because you didn't like the way it came out or you liked it so much you wish you would have kept it um usually the latter um I usually, I think artists get attached to their, to their work. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a couple pieces that I wish I didn't sell. But you know, the other thing is I have pieces that are just sitting in my mm -hmm. drawer and I go, you know, at least those pieces are being loved. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, do you use books when practicing anatomy or do you just use Google? Oh, uh, Google. And how are you so patient with your art? <laughs> yes. He's not. Yeah, I mean, patience is, I mean, I'm spending an hour and a half in front of you. That's, that's, you don't have to be that patient to do that. But I spent years <clears throat> developing a system and a style to where I could finish an illustration that quickly. Uh, so I think a lot of it is if you know you don't have patience, then you find shortcuts. And that's why I have a lot of shortcuts. Oh, he is the master of the shortcuts. I there's love shortcuts. To, if there's an easy way to do it or a hot key, he will find it. Yeah. Scott does not read Stephen King. Our dog's name is Arwen. Jester says, hey, Scott, hey, Donna, I just finished watching through your last stream. You inspired me to try digital painting, and I really feel like it's improved my art. I'm going to try and finish up during this. Oh, that's wonderful. I look forward to seeing it. Out of all the tips of the zebra pens, which is your go-to? I think it's the blue one. 
the, the you know the purplish blue one. Um, That's the one you'll see me using the most. Marina, I don't know what you're asking. Marina is asking, where do you see this going? The my channel I, or the piece of art. All they're asking, yeah, all yeah. they're asking is that. Do you have an opinion about paint, miniature painting and the stuff surrounding it? I think it's wonderful. We have some friends who do miniature painting and they are like the most beautiful little tiny statues. They're gorgeous. Um, what is your favorite part of the drawing process? Finishing. In your opinion, what is the hardest thing to draw? Hands and feet. Um, do you like traveling? Yes and no. I like the idea of traveling. I like seeing new things. I don't like how I feel when I travel. Mm -hmm. I never feel healthy. I always feel stressed. Um, so I wish I was a better traveler. I think you have fun when you're there and when you're seeing things. It's just the whole concept of travel. And Scott has IBS too, so that's another thing that he has to deal with, which makes traveling hard. Have you ever tried a wash technique? Yeah, no yeah. What that is. What is that? It's wet on wet. Um, Maggie loves your videos. They oh, thank you, Maggie. A lot with watercolors. Thank you. Um, oh, Alex says he, they love us. I've followed you on TikTok. That's very Thank you very much. Um, hello from Panama. That's Lorena. Hello, Lorena. When was the first time someone noticed your art? Sometimes, well, it's, it's going to be my mom. Mm -hmm. I never knew you did lives. We do. Monday, yeah. Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Central Time in the morning, and Saturday nights at 7 p.m. Thank you for inspiring me so much. You're such an inspiration in my artistic journey. Love ya. That's ARP. Thank you, ARP. I'm so glad you're doing YouTube. You inspire me and simply make my day. Muhammad. Thank you very much. Um, you're the best, Scott. That's Izuku. Thank you, Izuku. Uh, I had no idea you had a reading ancestry. Any Persian anecdotes or stories from your grandpa? Oh, gosh. Oh, my no, God. I, I mean... Uh, his, his, his name was Poppy. He was the cutest thing. Yeah. Oh my God. He was just he would, the cutest little thing. He didn't really tell us stories from, you know, where he grew up. Mm -mm. Um, but he played the tar and he was what such a wonderful tar player. Um, so I have his, his tar and his doombuck, uh, which is like a guitar and a drum for anybody who doesn't know. Um, which I'm assuming would be most people, but uh, that's that's what you know. That's what I remember is that, and it just I just love the language. I loved hearing them talk, and it was uh, you know it disappeared when when they passed away because yeah. my cousins and my mom don't speak in Assyrian anymore. Uh, do you support LGBTQ? Oh, one hundred percent. And there are a lot. If you look at, the, you'll see a lot of mm -hmm. representation. Representation for that. Um, what's the favorite animal you've drawn in this notebook so far? Well, my favorite animal personally is the cheetah, but um, the one that I've enjoyed, or you know, I think came out the best. Um, I really like the manatee. He's really cute. She? She's really cute, yeah. There you go. Um, Let's get of your current Yeah, I think the manatee right now is my favorite. It's just, you know, liking how how they came out. Um, okay. um, do you get a sketch done and then get nervous to do the ink? Yeah, the inks are the hard part. Because, um, actually, I think this. I think the pencils are the hardest part. But lots of times, like with stuff like this, I don't know how to do the fur with the inks, and so I'm kind of learning live 
Like, what do I think is gonna work? How much did I do too much here? Oh no, I probably shouldn't have added those lines. But when I do people, I think I'm a little less nervous because I've d done them so much, but I haven't done a lot of cheetahs with this technique. As a freelance artist, how do I advertise my art better? That's Brianna. Oh, um, you we're living in a digital world and I think you really need to have your work online. I mean, I don't think people will hire you because you have a lot of followers, unless they think that that you know you doing a project is going to gain more um, recognition for whatever project you're painting, you're painting for, or illustrating for. Uh, but I think just in general, it's a good thing to get your work out there because it lets you know what what people like and what they don't like. Churchy y'all says Scott, you are an absolute inspiration. Thank you. He is using a zebra brush pen. Um, I don't know why, but the only thing I know as inspiring is having a favorite animal as a fox or your pet. By the way, hi from Italy. Hello. Um, thank you for being there for me and helping me during the years of arts that I, I do. Oh. That's R and O. My pleasure. Um, McCall is drawing with you. What is the easiest thing for you to draw? I think eyes. Um, Bonnie says she's on day 40 of asking for Fred Weasley and Scott has drawn so many Harry Potter things. Yeah, so, I have not done the twins. I have not done Fred and George. Um, let's see. How does Scott get over the artist block? Right now, I just can't draw and everything sucks to me. What should I do? Um, I have a video on that. For me, I like to look at other people's art. So I go to museums or I go online and, or, or something and uh, or go out and sketch. But I, I get inspiration from other artists. Um, Box TV says hello. Thank you, Box TV. you another tip. Um, let's see. Scott, what is the most important thing about being a freelance artist? So you're partially Persian. Yeah, I'm 50% Assyrian. Assyrian. My mm -hmm. dad's side is Sicilian. Mm -hmm. uh, Kiki is drawing with you to relax. Beautiful hello from Iran. Hello. What is your favorite place to go when you feel a bit sad? Oh, the Hobbit Hole. Starbucks. <laughs> I'm sorry. That wasn't for me, was it? Oh. You've inspired me so much and helped me to become a better artist. Oh, thank you. Hi Scott, a few months ago I commented that I applied to University for Architecture and I hope I get in. Update, I got in and I'm going to the UK next month. Yay, congratulations! Thanks for being my comfort place, that's Adina. Oh, Adina, we're so Good happy for, for you. you. That's awesome! Uh, Maggie loves watching the streams, so calming. Do you have a favorite type of art, Donna? Oh, me. Uh, you know, there's a few artists that. <laughs> Oh, Arwen's choking again. Hairball. You okay, baby girl? Are you okay, baby girl? You okay? She's Sorry, getting she's, older. She's 11, you guys, almost. So, um, I have a couple. Um, I really like Norman Rockwell. I've always liked Norman Rockwell. Um, one of my favorite ones is Wander Above a Sea of Fog that Scott did for the 50 Days of Studying the Masters. I mean, 60 Days of Studying the Masters um, by Caspar David Friedrich. That um, is one of my new favorites. Um, there's a lot of other ones, a lot of, um, I'd have to look up the names of the ones, but there's a lot of oil paintings that um, I like as well, like um, 1800s-ish type of era. Those are um, mostly um cottage scenes things like that those are kind of my my thing um what are all the animals names in your book oh you know what i don't think we've named all of them yet oh, I, um, so I know we have dina the manatee. manatee and justin beaver but i don't think we've named the others yet Let's 
see. I'm drawing a goat. Any tips? Oh, um... Gosh, I wish I had a good pun for that. Okay, how about just some tips and not worry about a pun? <laughs> Just have fun. Have you ever had anyone ask you in person, can you draw me? No, no. Mm -mm. Most people don't know I'm an artist unless they see me drawing, in which case they usually still stay far away. I, we don't get too That's many people coming. That's just because you put your headphones on like yeah. you're being antisocial. Um, Scott's favorite animal is a cheetah. This is my favorite animal mm -hmm. right now. So. Um, we get his zebra brush pens from jetpens.com. Uh, that is where we buy them. Okay, now uh, for the rose. Love your art in your channel. Oh, thank you. Cool besties does too. Uh, I just bought my first zebra brush pens. I can see why you recommend them. They are so good. Sunny. Oh, good. Can't wait to see some South America. Well, I oh, did. We'll work on that. Yeah, last, uh, was it yesterday, was, was it wasn't yesterday, was, what? was uh, Mexico, Africa. oh, Africa, no, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no. Like two, two days, days ago, ago was Mexico, yeah, Mexico's like considered like Central America, really, oh, uh, okay, actually, it's probably North America, uh, random mushroom would like to know what your pronouns are, oh, I'm he, him, and thank you for asking, happy evening from Canada, happy evening, I love how fluffy cheetahs look, yeah, Please tell everyone how long you've been drawing. I have been drawing for about uh, 31 minutes now. How about in your life? Let's go there too. Okay, I've been drawing for about 45 years maybe. Scott, I know you did your Spider-Man comic, which looks unique and clever. I was wondering what is your top three or five Spider-Man characters or villains? Oh, uh, Dr. Octopus. Um, I guess, man, I, I think I've always liked Dr. Octopus, uh, Electro, and maybe the Vulture. All old school ones, you know? We're, oh, Bean. We're that hopeful. Is, we, uh, that is the bane of my existence presently, is finding funding for our next film. Uh, Mrs. Saba, can you please do a video of... Oh, you want to see me draw. You know what? Very sweet, but all you would see would be sick people. Um, I am going to do a video on putting together... We got a box stationary pal, and we're going to be going out and doing a video on journaling. Um, and so I'm going to be putting together a video on showing you how we put together all the things that we got um, into a portable, like a journal sort of package thing that you can take with you. And then we'll be taking that out and going out into the wild and I will, uh, I will show you what I do there. Um, do you respond to emails? We try. We do get a it lot. Is, it is difficult because um, lately we have been been getting so much email. Um, it is just hard to respond to everybody. I'm trying my best, but it is very hard. Um, have you ever tried sculpting? It's very fun in my opinion. Oh yeah, I would love to do it. Um, it just, I don't know the materials well enough. Bridget says I love stick people. Well, you're a glutton for punishment, aren't you? Okay, well, I can try. Uh, where do you get the brush pens? Um, jetpens.com. There's a link in um, the resources page on the bio. The sketchbooks. Where do we get the Be Creative sketchbooks, honey? Oh, um, I had to, I got them from uh, Blick Art. Mm -hmm. All right, we are done, and now to start painting. Um, who are your favorite Harry Potter characters? Oh. Um, Uh, Sirius Black. Uh, Scott did not animate Animal Crackers. 
Um, Scott did everything else. He I didn't do everything directed, else. I wrote he art and directed, he wrote and he produced. So he did a lot of other things. Could you please scan that before you do with any put any color in it? I shall. Thank you all for reminding me. Yep. First one was Misty and then followed by Steph Nerd. <laughs> oh, my phone is buzzing. Uh, what about Venom? As no, a bad guy. never. I mean, never really liked him that much. Um, we actually have an entire studio that um, we worked with over in Spain that did, um, we did animation with. Are there shows that you get inspiration from? Yeah, yeah, there are some shows I get inspiration from. I mean, I, I loved Avatar The Last Airbender. Um, that was just beautiful. Have you seen the new Elvis movie? No, I have not. Um, I realize. Uh, do you like parakeets? My parakeet loves to sit on my shoulder and watch your videos with me. Oh, oh well, hello, so parakeet. Um, we've never really had birds. Neither one of us has had birds before. No. Ever. Here you go, honey. I'm going to scan. Oh, no. You can. You guys really? can witness Donna drawing. Okay, you guys asked for it. I can no longer read the comments because now I have to draw. Oh my god. Which pencil can I use? Any pencil? Um, Which pencil? The yellow one. The yellow one. This one? No, the... the... This one? Yeah, just like a regular yellow one. Oh, pencil. he's giving me the generic, uh, let's see. That's what I do my Amazon best. Basics, number two HB pencil. Okay. So I do my best drawings with... Okay, I can know. This is why Scott cannot read the comments at the same time. Because it is so hard. And <laughs> good luck, Donna. Go, Donna. You guys are funny. Yay, Donna. I am telling you, I am. This is why I read the comments. <sighs> because I am not the artist in the family, as you will painfully see from my little tiny drawing. Why don't I draw a cheetah? Really? A what? Right there. Oh okay. yeah, I'll just get right on that. We'll just draw a cheetah. Should have brought my fountain pen down. Um, let's see. I feel so happy. Go Donna. You guys. Okay. So then we'll do, we'll do stick people. I like stick people. Stick people with little hair, or maybe a little baseball cap. Yeah, a little stick man with a little baseball cap. What do you think, baseball cap? A little baseball cap. <laughs> you can do it, it's amazing. You guys are silly. Okay. Draw a little house. Those are the houses I used to draw when I was a kid. With a little Here's the little chimney. Chimney's all bricks. See? A little puff of smoke coming out of the chimney. And a little window in the top of the house. Gotta have some windows and a little door. A little door. And then some grass. Here's a little grass. And a little grass. I'm just, you told me to draw. I'm drawing. Okay, I'm going back now. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> that okay. was our intermission for the night. <laughs> intermission for the night. Keep in mind, you guys asked. Okay. I was just, huh, that's thinking, that's not the same thing that Scott did. I've been bamboozled. Nope. <laughs> How much for that lovely drawing? You guys are so Donna goes back into the basement. You got that right. Donna goes back behind the computer screen. You guys are funny. Let me I get you guys seen... a little closer. Um, I love your little character so much. He is so cute. What is your favorite color? Mine is yellow. Mine is Payne's gray. Mm, waffles or pancakes? They're oh, asking... waffles. Sorry. They're not asking me. They're asking you. Um, I can't have either unless they don't have eggs in them. So. 
Aw, that's the prettiest house I've ever seen. You're so sweet. We love you, Donna. You're so talented. You guys <laughs> are very, very sweet. Thank you so much. You've made my day. Bridget, you are just, you're very sweet. Thank you, you guys. I used to draw that same kind of house. You guys are funny. This is a quality Saturday night entertainment, says <laughs> Richard. Hey, let me tell you. You will not find anything any more G-rated than what I'm going to draw. I am going to be out of a job pretty soon. Have you been to New Zealand? No, but I want to go. Yeah, we want to go. <laughs> Stephanie says, a stick Darcy and a stick Elizabeth. Oh, I missed that one in the comments. I couldn't see it was <coughs> up there. You guys are so cute. Thank you for being so sweet. Um, you guys are very, very sweet. Um, thank you for being so kind to me. Tana and Scott should draw the same thing and see the outcome. Oh boy, howdy. You've seen how well I can draw, guys. Not so well. Um, stick people are the best people. Let's see. Uh, read my comment, please. Lots of hearts. Okay, I read your comment. Is that, that what you wanted me to read? Can y'all make this drawing a t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Why I never drew chimneys on my houses before. You have to draw a chimney on your house. How does the fire... Come out of the chimney, the smoke, if you don't have a chimney. Um, you guys. Um, you guys are so funny. That's better than my art. You guys are very sweet. Um, just finished a Pokemon doodle where I fused two different Pokemons. Nice. Wow, that's cool. Um, Tess says, even though our art styles are complete opposite, whenever I'm going through art block, you always inspire me to start drawing again. Your art is super amazing. Oh, thank you. So sweet. Um, there's a hi, Scott. Hello. Where does the last name Sava come from? Uh, Palermo, Sicily. Mm -hmm. Yep. Let's see. <laughs> Intermission. Let's see. Um, thank you for being my new art hero. Oh, thank you for having me as your new art hero. I'm What's honored. your favorite Umbrella Academy character? Klaus. Oh, I got an A plus on the grass, says Maggie. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> Come back, you guys. You, you, trust me, you just want to watch Scott. The, I'm good. Um, I like the other side of the camera. It's good. You know what? Um, Fine. You can <laughs> have her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, you're funny. Have you seen or drawn a King Cheetah? I don't think so. Come here, Bluebell. What are you doing? You okay? Come here. Okay. Do you want to go upstairs? When I use waterproof brush pens, the ink always slightly smudges, making the colors duller. Is there a reason? I'm not using zebra brush pens as I can't find them in my store in Thailand. Yeah, it, it's it's the ink. You got to find uh, waterproof ink. You, you could try them? microns. Blow dryer. <laughs> Etcher Labs brushes. Mm -hmm. They're actually pretty good. And you also have to tell them where you got your bag, your travel bag. Oh, that is from eBay. It's an old Swiss medic bag. Mm -hmm. I got you. I got you. I got you right here. Sorry. Uh, where did you get the sketchbook again? I forgot. It is from, uh, I got it from Blick Art. Um, and it is a Be Creative is the brand. Have you done Italy? We have not done Italy yet. No, I've not done Italy yet. What if you don't have a chimney? If you don't have a chimney and you have a fireplace, then I hope you have some sort of exhaust for the chimney. Otherwise, you will be... Um, yeah, just don't light a fire if you don't have a chimney. Inhaling a lot of smoke, yeah. And what watercolors do you use, honey? I use Windsor and Newton. Jamie Brown, I love you. She writes, Tana's art is for sale for the amount left to fund Animal Crackers too. <laughs> Jamie, you are just adorable. Oh my God, you are so cute. No, 
Thank you. I will not be hard on myself. I. It is hard not to compare yourself to Scott because, um, hello, 30 years of being married to him is a lot. And um, it's intimidating. But I have things that are on that, you know, I'm better at than he is. So, do you consider graphic design art? Of course. Absolutely. Um, Scott films on an I, uh, iPhone. Yeah. That's what we film on. Um, and he has a big giant arm thing sitting there. So, um, oh, 10 out of 10 tons of leather art. You're so <laughs> Blow dryer. Dogs. I like everything, but I am allergic to cats. That makes yeah. me a problem. Cake or ice cream? Ooh. Cake does. I love ice cream, but cake doesn't make my stomach as bad, so I guess I'll say cake. Uh, ice cream cake? I love ice cream cake. Yeah. Um, I, I'm a cake person myself with about three inches of frosting on the top. Like, I want. Ugh. I want. Um, a little bit of cake with my frosting. <laughs> Will you ever do a full art room tour? Haven't you done that? Um, no, I got to do that. Yeah. Um, I, I, the I thing is, is you that, did it, didn't you? no, I mean, I, they want a long video where I kind of just walk around and do that. Oh, and, um, okay. Salty or sweet? Ooh, depends on my mood. Me too. I am so, I am like a mood person on the snacks. I usually like to enter, you know, like I just had something salty, so now I need something sweet. Mm -hmm. um, can you clean a kneaded eraser? I've seen videos where you can, but I mean, for like a dollar fifty that they cost, I don't really see the point in doing that. Mm -hmm. Have you ever broken a bone? If so, which one? And if you don't want to say, that's okay. That's okay. I broke both of these bones. In my in my uh, left arm, mm -hmm. and, and uh, fun fact about Scott, his left arm is actually skinnier than his right arm. Yeah, because I broke it again mm -hmm. while it was in the cast. Yep, he did. So you can actually physically see the difference. Yeah, I look like um, uh, Hellboy. What is your favorite book? The Hobbit. Mine is Pride and Prejudice. Um, let's. Oh, now you're making me want cake. I'm just saying. Hmm. Um, what kind of music do you enjoy most? Curious if you have different genres or artists you enjoy and what you think in one another's tastes in music. Um, I really like Seal. I've been listening to him a lot. I like stereophonics. I like Keen. So that um, introduces me to all the new music that I ever listen to. <laughs> all of it. But I mostly appreciate old stuff rather than new stuff unless he thinks I'm really going to enjoy it. Blow dryer. <laughs> So how many of you um, see the uh, the community posts where I post the artwork, you know, like I'll post pictures for you guys to have or ask questions. I just was wondering because we do get like 20, 30,000 likes. So I'm assuming a lot of you are seeing it, but I was just wondering if, you, if you're liking it. Um, that cheetah would want to live in the house that I drew. Oh. Somebody said. Um, what is his phone on to record? and stay still at that angle. Oh, he's on a tripod, um, an individual tripod. Actually, that's a good question because it was attached to an arm on his desk, 
but every time he would erase or do something else, it would bounce. So he bought a tripod on Amazon sale. That is on the ground, and it's not, yeah. it's not being it's manipulated not by the, it's not so like I can do desk. this, and it's not affecting anything. Mm -hmm. um, Aaron O'Rourke sent you a very nice tip that says, you should think about doing Straya. I oh. love your stuff. Thank you so much. What is Straya? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Um, what's your favorite movie, honey? The Princess Bride. This channel inspired me to draw again. You guys are so nice. Thank you. That's so Blow dryer. Allergic to walnuts, mm -hmm. and I'm allergic to way too many things to list. Well, I am. Um, honey, how do you get inspiration? Golden Whale Studios would like to. Oh, I've got a video on inspiration if you want to look it up. But essentially, I get inspired by other artists. Mm -hmm. I just find inspiration from photographs and cosplayers and movies and art in a gallery. Yeah. Eggs are a hard thing to be aller um, allergic to. You guys are so funny. Um, sensitive to weather changing. You know what? I think a lot of people I've noticed that have allergies are very sensitive to weather changes because I know I am. Like if we get a big weather change with a barometric pressure, I will get a migraine. Uh, oop, he's going in with the colors, boys. There's no turning back now. Let me tell the world what water, water, what watercolors do you use? I'm using Windsor and Newton watercolors mm -hmm. from the tube. From the tube? From the Not the pans? The tubes? No, the, yeah. I like the tubes. What is your favorite emotion to draw? Oh, um... I think Jeez. <clears throat> surprise. No, um, surprise is fun, you know. Uh, but I, I, I think the ones that I like to do are the more serious ones, you know, the contemplative ones. How long have you been drawing with watercolor? Uh, about twelve years now. Absolutely in love with this project of national animals. Thank you so much. Um, the cheese channel says, "What's your favorite noun to paint?" My favorite noun to paint: I hair. Think. You should do a video game sketch before you draw characters from the game. A lot of people would like to see you do that. Yeah. Um, Scott has done his entirely own comic book called The Dreamlight Chronicles. There is also a video on um, where Scott finds his photo reference. You can check that out. That's in the, um, oh, Australia is Australia. Um, honey, what brand of blow dryer is that? It's the blow dryer that you steal from your, from your partner that is underneath their sink. That's what it is. If you can choose only three things to create art with, what would they be? Um, well, does watercolor count as a thing or is it just one particular tube? Because, uh, yeah, because then I would need a paintbrush too. So those two things. So it would be paper, pencil, and a sharpener. What's your favorite Broadway You're not going to get me with a broken pencil. What's your favorite Broadway musical? 
Oh gosh, I, we've only seen one, and that was Hamilton. I've seen more than one, and I still love Hamilton. Uh, I see and like all of the community posts. That's Clara. Scott, what inspired you to do this series? Oh, you know, a lot of people wanted to see animals, and yeah. I really liked when I did the hair journal. I really liked, and, and also the 60 Days of Studying the Masters. There was a lot of feeling of cultural pride and regional pride and personal pride, you know, um, where people felt connected to, uh, whether it be the artwork or the artist, oh, that, that artist is from my country or something like that. <clears throat> or when I did the hair journal, there was, you know, mm -hmm. so much diversity to it. And so I wanted to do animals, the diversity part of it still. And so that's kind of where I came up with that. Why is Bethany Primrose's name in blue and have a wrench next to it? And Wait, she, she already what? answered it. Um, it's because she kills people with a wrench. Miss Bethany in the library with a wrench. I'm just kidding. That's from Clue. Anyway, um, <laughs> all the mods, are names are in blue with a wrench next to them. Um, how do you cover up your mistakes? Carefully. You need a shovel. And a, I'm sorry, was that for art? <laughs> I'm still married to mine. I'll let you know. <laughs> Meanwhile, Donna, like a shovel. It's kind of like, wait, I'm still nice. married to mine. Do you like soup? Oh, I love soup. Chicken noodle soup's my favorite. Yeah, he's made me hate soup. He wants it so much. Let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. I love your videos and your art. Thank you. Blow dryer. All right, so um, let's see. these colors are red and green. Do you? Yes, we go live every Saturday night at 7 p.m. Central Time. I mean, barring any major complications like, you know, issues or whatever. But yeah, we're here. Um, does Scott have tips on how to draw skin with colored pencils? Yes, there is a video on it in the Art Hacks playlist. Do you have any advice for someone who is starting to draw and who is looking for a style that they like? Um, look at uh, look at artists that you... Honey, just take her upstairs. It's fine. The door's open. She can go anytime she wants. Look for artists that you like uh, and then copy them. That's what I did. What tips do you have for young artists like me? Draw every day, carry a journal, and draw everything you see. Did you see Hamilton in person? We did. Yes, we did. Do you paint with acrylic paints? Hi, I love your videos. I do not because they're icky. <laughs> That's the technical term. Yes. Icky. Um, hi, I love your videos. I've been watching you do art and I love your style. You are my inspiration for my art and I love your videos. Oh, thank you. Scott, 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 my second favorite artist on YouTube just drew me today. You being the first. Oh. You're so cute. Uh, animals are beautiful to paint. Yes, that is a grandfather clock that Scott got from his dad. Um, what is your favorite animal to paint? Um, I think tigers are really fun to paint. Could you please make a short video of this one? Oh, I will. I will. I've been making them for every single one. Mm -hmm. So I just posted yesterday's, yep. uh, today. Let's see. What colors would you use when creating different skin tones like pale tan, deep and dark, warm, cool olive? Love your content, by the way. Thank you. I use, um, and again, there's a video on this in the Art Hacks playlist, but I use um, Windsor Yellow, or was it Windsor Orange, sorry, which is kind of a yellowish. It's this color. And then I'll use Rose Matter, which is pink. And then I'll finish it off with a little bit of purple. And if it's a guy or someone with like a five o'clock shadow, I might add some blues around where their shaving would be. Um, I love drawing animals way more than humans. Why do you think that is? I don't know. Everybody's got their favorite thing. 
Do you have any idea what any future series would be? Oh, gosh. Um, I thought of doing, like, musicians, but I don't like the way um, YouTube handles copyright. Like, it won't let you use music for the one-minute shorts. So if they lighten that up, then I'd like to do a thing on the musicians. Yeah, he's talked about that several times. Uh, another one would be, you guys have been asking for video game characters, but I, I, yeah. I think I like to do stuff where I don't have to worry about copyright yeah. stuff. So that's that's the thing. Um, let's see. I'm painting along with you, Oliver. I'm drawing a weird bird with big yellow eyes. That's oh, Maggie. that's cute. Something's going on with Bethany. I don't know what. Is she okay? <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. They're all going, Bethany, stay away from me, Bethany. Oh, because of the... Yeah. You told her that she goes around killing people. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Not. I implied... With a wrench. I may have implied something, but I didn't. I wasn't specific. Yeah, I literally think that you said she kills people. I didn't say that. Honey, you know it's all recorded, right? I mentioned a shovel, that's all. Um, I am trying to do a series with you, but I'm having trouble drawing the face of the animal. Do you have any advice on this? If you're having a problem with it, the easiest <laughs> thing to do and the best thing to do is to trace it. What musicians would you like to paint? Do you have some in mind? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> see? Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's there's Michael. I mean, but see, the thing is, I've painted most all of these. I've painted Prince and Michael Jackson and Tom Petty and, you know, John Bon Jovi and the whatnot. Beatles. The Beatles. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I've painted every, I mean, I've painted so many musicians. But it would be a fun, I, I think what I'm looking forward to more is the the video where we talk about those those people and their music for a minute. I'm, I'm kind of enjoying the documentary kind of feel of these things. Blow dryer. Also, can I ask, what is it with countries' flags being red and green? Why does every country seem to have red and green in it? Um, has Scott ever done pop art? I don't think so. I mean, it depends on your definition of pop art, I guess. Um, just subscribed and turned on notifications, love the videos. Thank you so much. Is it okay to not finish unfinished artwork? Yeah, uh, there's a video on that the about corner of shame. Yeah, about my corner of shame, which is all of my unfinished pieces that I'm never gonna go back and finish. Scott has a wolf, and he uses Windsor and Newton paints. He's filming the progress of this on a iPhone. iPhone 13. You have the motivation. No, I, yeah, I'm motivated. filming it with an iPhone. I'm yeah. sorry. You've motivated me to do art. Oh, do you have thank a cool you. character that are simple in aesthetic design? I'm sculpting my miniatures right now. They are cyberpunk dwarves, and I just did Gandalf. Oh, nice, nice. Um, Scott, Darian Scott has done a video of his art style through the years. What was it called? You know, when you flip through oh, your book? Just, yeah, just something, my art through the years. Yeah, um, that is there. Um, let's see. Um, the green is gorgeous. Do you mind sharing what it's called? Oh, gosh. Um, I have two greens. I think it is... Permanent sap green. I know I've been busy all day. I'm sorry. Okay. I know. Um, yeah, the mods have been great. They're all answering the same question. You guys are funny. Um, what if I can't draw every day? Um, it's okay. You draw when you can. Mm -hmm. I find it funny how you guys made animal crackers and you guys are drawing and painting animals. <laughs> It was kind of cute. Birdie says, hey, Donna and Scott, I love your videos and art. My question is, if you could meet one artist, dead or alive, who would it be? Oh, I think I couldn't decide. I think it was either John Buscema, J.C. Liondecker. Mm -hmm. um, of 
you've gotten to meet a lot of my idols. Um, I'm focusing right now on watercolors and alcohol-based markers. Is it worth it to add colored pencils to the focus? Should I learn colored pencils on the side? I think if you think it'll be fun, do it. I mean, I always use multiple mediums. I think that's a really good thing. Blow dryer. Nikki. Nikki. Just being go and love yourself. Pieces. Yeah. Um, he. Oh, do you have a favorite finished sketchbook? That's a good question. Um, they're usually my travel journals are my favorite because there's a story behind them. <laughs> Nixia says, I would like to be in the kitchen with a cleaver. <laughs> uh, do you think it's better to study realism before you study stylized art? Yes. And, and again, it's not realism. It's just learning how to draw the world around you before you distort it. Um, apparently, we are hilarious. Oh, thank you. Have you tried lemon rice soup? That's Greek. And I have tried it, and I like it. But Scott, I don't think he's tried that. Do you think you need a formal education to become a successful artist? Because no. Because now you can find almost anything you want to know on the internet. So I'm wondering if doing art courses is really worth it. Yeah, I, I don't think so at all. Um, no, no one hires you based on where you went to school. Um, they hire you based on your portfolio. And really what you're trying to do is you're trying to, remember artists are, we're observers, we see the world. The same way writers do, the same way musicians do, we see the world and then we show you how we see the world. So that's why I say you really need to get out there and you need to draw the world. You need to draw everything. Mm -hmm. um, that that's where that's where your voice is going to come from. Blow dryer. No, 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 yeah. God's been doing art for about 46 years. He gives himself a time limit, and so that's how this is coming together so quickly because he wants to finish the piece on this live. Yeah, I give myself 90 minutes. Mm -hmm. His favorite color to paint with is Payne's Gray. Um, how are you filming the pro We're filming this on an iPhone 13 which is on a tripod on the floor. The paints are Windsor and Newton paints. Can you do a tutorial on portraits? I've done several videos about skin tone and hair and eyes and noses and using photo references. So I'm hoping that that's enough. We, um, yeah, and we have a, um, on this other one that you've been asked numerous times on here to do landscapes. Um, in, in the live, a lot of people want to see you do landscapes. Um, could you do a short on drawing Japanese yokais? I think Spanish sass would probably be a good one to do that. Um, one of our people, um, honey, I'm sorry, I just got a text. I have to read it really quick. Just kind of faded away. I'm sorry. Sorry, I have to just do this really quick. That's okay. Um, okay, let's see. We did that one. I love your videos. They are so helpful and you're really Thank good at you. painting. Let's see. You can tell you and Donna are best friends. Yeah. <laughs> We're something. Um, let's see. It scares me to watch you outline. Why does it scare you to watch an outline? 
Um, your videos on ears really helped me, says Bridget. Oh, good. Um, how do you make a face look so good? Well, again, I'm just looking at a photo, so this isn't like something I came up with. Um, he, again, he, tra he traces things when he can, and that's how you can try it, too. Um, I'm in art school, but I'm having trouble fading warm and cool colors together. Do you have any advice or different colored pencils to use? Are you using colored pencils? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, I mean, I used colored pencils for decades, and sometimes that's just the limitation of the pencils. Um, 3Bs has been subscribed since you were around 600,000. Wow. And now you're almost at a million. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Crazy. Um, have you ever drawn for DC? Uh, I did. I did Star Trek, uh, Deep Space Nine, and Next Generation for them. Um, other than that, I have not. I mostly did stuff with Marvel. <laughs> Laura says, I imagine walking into the art store and hearing Scott yell blow dryer from the next aisle over. Uh, <coughs> That's funny. Um, what's the quickest art piece Scott has done? Um, I mean, there's a bunch of... You've done... We oh, used to do, know. like, little... Like, if you look at the, um... What is it? The like the Stranger Things and the Harry Potter ones. Those were mm -hmm. thirty minutes each. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, I could do like a five-minute sketch, and I think I've even made some videos on that too. I tend to draw the same thing over and over again. Is that bad? I I wouldn't say it's bad, but I will say it doesn't help you. I used to do that all the time. I used to draw my favorite original character and just try to get it right, and I would draw it out of my head. That does not make you, it didn't in any way help me artistically. Um, it's like, um, it's like you, it's like you're, you're, you're singing one word and you're not learning about other words and other music and other, you know, you learned a word and you're going to stick to that one word. You know, you really want to see the rest of the world. You want to draw everything get influenced by other people and other everything. Okay. Um, is drawing just in pencil or black and white a style of art? And is just drawing portraits a style of art? Um, yeah, I guess so. Um, you never really answered fading the warm and cool colors together. I said it because it's, it's in colored pencils mm -hmm. and it... I'd have to see it, of course, but I mean, it's most likely just the limitations. It's not you, it's your medium, is what I'm trying to say. Um, okay, there are so many nations around the world, so obviously with one sketchbook and 30 pages, he's not going to get to all of them. So um, he is taking suggestions, and then basically he picks his favorite one. That's kind of... Where it's going. Okay, honey, she's still crying. Is she? I, is it up? Is it top stairs? I don't know. I have to look. Okay, go go check. Um, I'm almost done. So. Okay, hang on. Well, I think we are kind of done. squiggles away what do you Sorry, think I go out. all right I think it came out okay <sighs> okay I think my uh, stick people were better I'm, just, I'm not saying totally yeah I'm not saying but I'm saying uh let's see does the cheetah have a name oh and have you ever screamed blow dryer when you're not on the live? Uh, I thought about it. I almost did a couple times. I'm just sitting here and I laughed at myself. Did you really? Yeah. Uh, 
What are you going to name the cheetah? I thought of naming him after my grandfather, who's from Iran, um, Iramya. Okay, we are still doing our Christmas in July sale. So there's that on the website. Um, I finished my tiger, yay, says Lee. All right. Tuned in to see the end, this is awesome. Thank you. I always draw from my mind, is that bad? I have more of a cartoon style. Again, not bad, nope. but it is not going to help you improve. So again, you just, if you are happy with what you're doing, then please keep doing it. But if you are feeling like you want to become a better artist, Draw the world around you. Yeah. Um, again, we're using an iPhone 13 to record this. Do you guys want to see what what it looks like? What what my setup looks like? Because I know I've showed a few times before. Yep. So this is. CC Anderson was an art major in college a lifetime ago. I haven't really painted in decades. Your content encourages me, and I'm beginning again. Thank oh, you. thank you. So this is my setup now. This is fairly new, like a week old, but it's just a tripod with a horizontal thing that I put the you know, thing right here. Now this is the one that's on, that's recording the video that I make the, um, that I edit. Mm -hmm. And it, it shakes. So if I do this, you can see it shakes. And that's why I stopped doing that. And yes, I live in a hobbit hole. Well, my art studio is a hobbit hole. There's a grandfather clock. Okay. Uh, you can actually show me because I think I'm. There's a rare Donna sighting. Yeah. And as you can see, it's nighttime too. Yes. Do you like Marvel or DC? I like Marvel. I mean, I love them both, but. If you had to survive and only bring six things with you, what would you bring? <laughs> my purse. Dude, seriously? You can have my purse five other things and you can survive for a month in the middle of the desert <laughs> ask bethany oh thank you aaron so true oh i just saw the uh the stray out um, ones so that's supposedly for um, australia everybody's saying hi. hi hello all right well i think we are done and Sadly, i don't know what a pencil on and her purse. <laughs> <laughs> seriously i'm not kidding honest to god do you stand while doing your art i do so we got Scotland. Yep. India. Yep. Canada. Yep. Mexico. Yep. Cape Verde, Africa. Yep. And Iran. Mm -hmm. And you, you must be an animator if you can draw this good, no pun intended. Thank <laughs> you for making my night. Oh, it thank very you. Close to my dream drawing room or library. Why do you stand when you're painting? Uh, I hurt my back playing hockey years ago and sitting for a long time hurts. So I just mm -hmm. learned to draw standing up. What are your thoughts on digital art? I think it's wonderful. Um, you need to go to New Zealand, we will welcome you. I would, I love, would to. love to go to New Zealand, oh my goodness. I can only make animation art. It's hard for me to make detailed art. I tried, I messed up. That's okay, it's okay. I just, you're, you're, you're allowed to do any kind of art that makes you happy. Scott uses zebra brush pens. Um, you can find all of the stuff that he uses, guys, in the resources page on his website, esavaart.com. Um, do you have any ideas with drawings with a pen? I'm struggling and I need some tips. How, well, I'm sorry, say it again. Do you have any ideas with drawings with a pen? I'm struggling and I need some tips. Look at the art of JC, uh, not JC, uh, Charles Dana Gibson. Oh yeah, that's a good Here, I will show you. I, I, he was one of the people I studied, um, but here's what his inks look like, as interpreted by me. But this is how his art looks, and it's beautiful. But I would definitely try copying that. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, we got some. Um, Oh, I'm sorry. Um, oh, look what I got. Hemi, uh, uh, who sent me the, the Hemi gouache, the, 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 I said Maya who sent it, they sent me acrylics. And I warned them, mm -hmm. I hate acrylics. Mm -hmm. But they said, well, hopefully our acrylics you'll like. Yeah, you warned them, you warned them. And Donna also got these colored pencils by Artex. Artex. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do a video on that. Mm -hmm. This is their new thing of colored pencils. And um, we're going to do a video on that. That'll be out the first week of August. They wanted us to do a video. And we'll let you know how we like the feel of those. I also have and, um, yeah. um, well, went upstairs and chalk, show her, chalk pastels. Yep. And I have... More oil pastels. And those are the Michaels brand. Yeah. So those are Artist Loft, those are the Michaels brand, just so you know. We bought those at Michaels. So I've got lots to do, lots to do. We have plenty. Um, a zebra brush pen, uh, Duscari. Zebra brush pen, it does not bleed. It is waterproof. That is the pen he uses. We get them yes. on jetpens.com. Um, Steph Nerd, could you also put in, if you are out of the United States, Steph Nerd has a couple of pens, because she's not in the United States, that she can recommend that you can look for also. Um, I don't have any sponsors, Artsy. Um, people are sending me free stuff they because they're getting videos. free advertisement exactly. out of it. I'm not getting paid at all. Nope. And, you know, it's, I mean, it's, it's really cool that someone's going to send me a, a free sketchbook or something like that. But... You know they're not paying me or anything like that, so I don't have to give them a good review. And I could say I don't like this, and I, and, you know, which is good. So it's it's kind of like a reviewer, a movie reviewer, getting a free ticket to go watch the movie in hopes that you like the movie and you write a good thing. But you're not getting paid to write the review. Mm -mm. So and that's that's kind of where we are. Yeah. Um, any preference on watercolor brushes? The cheaper the better. I have um, travel brushes that I use. Um, that I really like and they're in, in my resources. But these, these Etcher ones are actually so far so good. I, I, I keep, they're losing hair, but, um, but so far they're holding up pretty good. That's what I look for. I look for something that is gonna keep its shape as long as possible. Have you tried linoleum block prints? I tried it once, I think in high school, and I thought it was really cool, but I, I, I've never tried it since. Mm -hmm. Um, what is the best sketchbook for watercolor that won't bleed through? Um, for cheap, I would get the Canson XL, which is, uh, again, there's a link in my art supplies. For the more expensive one, I would try either the Etcher Labs or the Be Creative. They're both 100% cotton, and um, I definitely recommend them. And all of the art supplies that Scott uses which are completely unsponsored at this point, thing, you know, un, un, I don't have, I don't have um, the Be Creative in there just because they're so hard to get. But. Right, all of the stuff besides the Be Creative sketchbooks are in his supply list under the resources. Favorite I like, art supply shop. I like Blick um, for online and when I need to, I go to either Michael's or Plaza Art in Nashville. Okay, you've got a beginner and they wanna know what watercolors they should try. Um, beginner watercolors. Uh, there's a $25 set in, uh, and, and again, it's just a link so you can get the Cotman series, which is the student series, and you can get a little little travel kit. Um, I would get something like that. Okay, you should try Posca Pink Pens. Yeah. Um, best sketchbook for watercolor that won't bleed through. You said that already. Yeah. Um, I'm... I am seeing what you guys are asking for as far as the animals go, but um, I'm not reading those out loud and there's been a lot of your requests for those. So we are just doing the best. Yeah. Can you tell me how good an ink quill is in art? I've never really used ink quills, not since high school, I don't think. And, uh, and if you're asking about glass dip pens, that's another thing too. A lot of Artists like glass dip pens because you can change the ink quickly. 
Um, but you have to try it before you would use it. This is the sketchbook I'm currently using for my travel journal. But before that, I was using um, the Canson XL. Uh, Steph, you're putting Sakura Pigma brush pens. So if you cannot find the zebra brush pens, try to find Sakura Pigma brush pens. Okay. Um, thanks, Steph Nerd. All right, everybody, it is time. We will see you on Monday. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what I'm gonna do, so please, please, please let me know in the comments when this is done, what do you think I should paint next? Yep. So far, I'm hearing a lot from the Welsh. There's, there's a the lot Welsh of Welsh want me too. to do a dragon. Yeah. So apparently Wales, um, we buy more than we, we have just started in the last month getting people to give us things yes. to try for free, um, but we have bought everything else. Yeah. So, um, all right, everybody. And, oh yeah. And, Romania, Romania has been another one too. Yep. Also. Okay. Leave it in the comments. I'm going to yep. stop this so that way you guys can get to the comments. Yes. Have a wonderful evening. We love you all Thanks, and we so will see you, see you on Monday. Monday.